<laughs> one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. This quote is one many of you will have heard or joked with since before you can remember. Some of you may have even witnessed this fateful event the day Neil Armstrong took his first step on the moon in 1969. The famous Apollo 11 mission not only marked the beginning of U.S. mastery of human space exploration, but began a new chapter in world history. The possibility of sending humans into space gave birth to a new era of technology and progress. The glory of U.S. space exploration endured for over 50 years until July 21, 2011, when the last space shuttle launch and mission ended when the Atlantis landed. In his July 6, 2011 article, Corey Nealon of the Daily Press states, NASA's space shuttle program gave the United States unmatched access to international cooperation, unmatched access to space, fostered a new era of international cooperation, and led to pioneering research of the solar system. So the question is, why would they shut down the shuttle launch program? A variety of reasons, formally and informally issued, include budgetary and safety reasons and replacing the shuttles with private commercial for aeronautic flights. Many citizens disagree and find the reasons to be unviable at best. Mark Matthews of the Orlando Sentinel, in his July 24, 2011 article, states that a poll by Pew Research Center says that 60% of those polled thought it was essential for the United States to be a world leader in space exploration. The cancellation of the NASA shuttle space program puts the U.S. at a disadvantage because its existence provides opportunities for exploration, research, and progress. Today, we will explore some reasons why the shuttle launch program should not be canceled. <clears throat> First, we will examine how the program is a benefit to scientific exploration and research. Next, we will outline NASA's plans for future space exploration. Lastly, we will take a look at the effects on the United States progress and credibility as a result of the program being canceled. Neil Armstrong's first step is only one of the very many accomplishments that resulted from the United States shuttle space program. Many, there were many contributions to American society. According to Zoria and Randall's 2010 Encyclopedia of American History, many technologies we enjoy today were inspired by technologies used in space. This includes satellites, cell phone communications, weather radars, most of which were invented to assist space shuttle launches. Kevin Gaberoy of, Lewiston, of the Lewiston Morning Tribune in his July 20, 2011 interview with former astronaut John M. Fabian relates, we helped create a worldwide infrastructure that allows us to bring our world closer. He assisted in putting five satellites for five different nations into space. NASA's space shuttle program holds sta a staggering amount of records and firsts. ENP Newswire's July 2011 article states that the five shuttles have traveled more than 500, 542 million miles collectively. They have all docked with two different space stations and 135 space shuttle missions have been done since the Atlantis, or with the ending of the Atlantis. ENP Newswire also credits the program with hosting 2,000 scientific experiments in the fields of earth, astronomy, biology, and material sciences. Jason Rian of the Orlando Examiner in his April 13, 2011 article says the U.S. will have to rely on Russia and commercial aeronautics for future space exploration. Russia's, invo Russia's involvement in our future solutions for space exploration is due to the International Space Station. Scott Powers of the Sun Sentinel in his July 22nd article states, NASA, NASA officials say the space station is its focus but no longer has spaceships to get there. He also points out that, years worth of supply, that a year's worth of supplies 
was given to the International Space Station with the last launch of the Atlantis. Uh, they also equipped the lab, which will be the new focus for the space or for space exploration. Um, another solution that they've come up with is deep space rockets to replace our shuttle launches. But this process to develop these deep space rockets is supposed to take over a decade. Basically, the International Space Station needs the support of the uh, of NASA's shuttle program. Another new focus for NASA is commercial aeronautics firms. Mark Matthews of the Orlando Sentinel says that NASA commercial cargo, that the NASA commercial cargo plan is two years behind and 30 million over budget. Commercial companies have yet to successfully deliver cargo to the International Space Station. Kevin Gabry of the Lewiston Morning Tribune states in his July 24th article that the US has had people in space every minute of every day for 11 years. He also states that Neil Armstrong gives us a quote, after half a century of remarkable progress, a coherent plan for maintaining America's leadership is no longer apparent. This lack of budget and, timeline and a timeline plan puts NASA at loose ends. And even with the budgetary constraints, there should still be a set timeline. The United States also has competition with many other countries. A lot of these other countries are very far behind in, with comparison to the United States in space exploration, but they're also dedicating billions of dollars to new space programs. For example, China is launching its first phase of a new space station this year, and the European Space Agency is doing a simulated 520-day journey to study to journey to Mars. So today we have explored the reasons why the NASA Space Shuttle Program should not be closed. Uh, we have decided that the space program has benefited scientific research and exploration. Uh, it has also, oh, we have also gone over uh, NASA's future plans for uh, space exploration and we have also decided that the United States has competition and that we need to keep up. So the next time that somebody uses Neil Armstrong's famous quote, remember, it really was one giant leap for mankind.